Sorry to keep you waiting, you goateed prick! We're here to straighten out that crooked heart of yours! So you've come. A warm welcome to the terrorists who toy with others' hearts in the name of their self-righteous justice. The infamous Phantom Thieves. As if you've any right to talk. You who repeatedly takes control of whomever you please. And you even tried to pass us off as a bunch of killers. You're the real bad guy here. Huh. It would appear you haven't realized just how similar we are. What? We're one and the same. We both detest this rotten society and struggle day after day to combat it. With our power to change hearts, we strive to incite change among the masses. Don't kid yourself. There's no way you're the same as us. We all know about your past. It must have been terrible for you, but still, what you're doing now makes you no better than a common criminal. I change hearts in order to exterminate the evils of this world. Are we not essentially the same? I'm simply introducing a system to keep things in order. And by creating monarchs, I'm ensuring everything plays out according to plan. What are you talking about? When the cognitive world revealed itself to me, I took it as an act of divine revelation. It was my birthright to change this godforsaken planet. With the cognitive world in my grasp, I could wipe all evil from the face of the Earth. I would not waste such an incredible gift. But in order to see that dream realized, I needed a world that could be controlled. Controlled? What do you mean? I needed a world that would allow me to erase even the slightest traces of evil from people's subconscious minds. To that end, I required something that could reach everyone and bring them to submission. Yes, it seems AI was the solution to that problem. Thus, the next step was to acquire Emma and have it learn more about cognitive science at the research lab in Okinawa. The end results were the jails created by Emma. Unique cognitive worlds in which no heart, no matter how cold, could resist the change. You're saying Emma made the jails? So that's why the jails were left standing even after we defeated the monarchs. The jails aren't perfect, mind you. A jail's area of effect only covers roughly one city. Peculiar has such a phenomenal power, has such a limited range. In order to change the hearts of all humanity, I needed nothing short of an army of monarchs. So I began gathering pawns. Powerless, lamenting puppets who felt as hopeless on this earth as I once did. And do you know what happens when you grant people like that the power to change hearts? They welcome their newfound power with open arms. And by using Emma to guide them, keeping them under control is a menial task. With the monarchs I personally selected, I could change the hearts of the festering rabble calls this rotten. With the monarchs at my command, I could change the heart of anyone who dares step out of line. That was the endgame. Operation Oracula. But you phantom thieves had to show up and ruin everything. So when we started taking down your jails, you got scared that your plan would fail. That's why you used the police and turned Akane into a monarch. It was all an attempt to stop us. It's not too bad. I can still erase these obstacles and start over. <laughs> You're still so naive. But eventually, even you will come to understand. Fight all you want. The most you can do is change the hearts of a scant few. Don't you see that my way is far more efficient? So everything will be fine as long as you're the one making all the decisions? Who do you think you are? Some kind of god? You're just forcing your ideas on everyone else! What foolish logic. So when you change people's hearts, it's right. But when someone else does it, it's wrong. I've built an entire infrastructure for changing hearts. What was impossible for you, I have made a reality. As a hero, 
I will reign over the whole world with infallible justice. You used Akane for this ridiculous plan of yours? She was just an innocent girl. Everyone you've made a monarch had some form of trauma. But you treated them like tools, even toyed with their lives. You don't know the first thing about justice! Then do you believe you could have saved me? Huh? Let's say you had been around back then. Could you have saved me from my father? I had nowhere to run. I was just a scared, helpless child left to suffer by himself. Even now, there are surely others being brought up in the same hell that I was. And yet you've done nothing to help them. Well, that's... You only destroy the evils you just happen to come across, but you'll never save everyone. Me, however, I have the power to change the entire world. No one will ever have to suffer as I did ever again. And to do that, you need something beyond what the Phantom Thieves can offer. You need more than some childish heroic fantasy. But that's not justice. All you're doing is brainwashing everyone. You're taking away their freedom, who they are. And what's the difference? Both of us changed the hearts of others against their will. So how am I any different from you? <sighs> Don't you understand? What? For you, changing someone's heart means imprisoning them. But for the Phantom Thieves, it means setting them free. You may steal desires like them, but the Phantom Thieves give people hope. Maybe you don't realize it, but I think, deep down, you know you're nothing like them. <clears throat> it seems there's little point in discussing this further. If we can't reach an understanding, then only one side can remain. It's time to decide which of us truly walks the path of justice. <laughs> there aren't any real heroes left. So, why not make our own? The world needs someone willing to fight for its people's justice. A hero to lead them, to unify them. A hero like me! <laughs> Yeah. 
little shot. Sure, things are lethal. But it takes a minute for the fire. You're gonna have to time this carefully. Fire! Right here! All weapons and maximum firepower! Uh, no! It's the tail against evil! Steer clear, everyone! Don't want to get hit by that! There's gotta be an opening somewhere. Just focus on avoiding him for now. This is my other self! Out of my way! What? My armor! Steer attacks are gold! Let him have it! I'll catch you, bro. Yeah. We know I can count on you! Yeah. Yeah. 
know what justice really is and we don't mean to say that what we're doing is always right either but we're definitely not just gonna sit back while you tell everyone what to do it's true there are days when I wish to immerse myself in my work days when I'd rather be wandering around town there are also days when I wish simply to spend time with those close to me to throw all of that away and do only what the person in front of you says why, at that point, you're nothing but a slave to fate. 
All you're doing is taking away people's rights to choose for themselves and denying them their freedom. When it comes down to it, it's no different from what your father did to you. Trampling upon the one thing that makes us human. That's the very evil you claim to hate. Are you saying I'm the evil one? We choose the roads we take. We don't let anyone tie us down. And we do so because we want to walk our own paths our own way. But if I fall here, then what will become of the world? There are no heroes. I'm the only one who can save it. Are you sure? I've seen the monarchs and the people whose hearts you've changed. They didn't look happy at all. I don't think you saved anyone doing what you did. <sighs> you know, Kanoe, the world is full of evil, and there's plenty of scum out there who seem well beyond redemption. But there are some, like the Phantom Thieves, who refuse to give up. And there are people out there who, thanks to these guys, finally got the courage to crawl their way. People who managed to awaken the hero inside themselves. Isn't that how we'll make this world a better place? <sighs> what you're trying to do will just erase those heroes. Some before they even get their chance. Can anybody really know peace if they're forced to be stuck that way all the time? I'd be erasing the heroes. Kanoe, it's not the people who need saving. If anyone needs it, it's you. Huh? Ever since you killed your father all those years ago, all you've ever done is run away. Rotten as he was, having to live with the pain of killing your own flesh and blood, knowing that you could be caught at any moment. You were alone. And getting stronger was the only way you could protect yourself. I... You're right. I... I killed my father. And I lied to escape the punishment. I called it justice, hoping that there'd never come a day when... I had to face the truth. But what I did back then... was just... evil. Then you know what you need to do, Kanoe. The hero you keep inside needs to save you from that evil. The hero I keep inside... I have to save myself. <laughs> I see now. It's been right there with me, all along. Very well. I'll confess my crimes. Accept my punishment, whatever it may be. I'll destroy Emma as well. You have my word. Phantom Thieves, if it's possible, I only ask that you please prove to the world that I was defeated by the real heroes of this story. Ones with a true sense of justice. Thank you. just have to wait and see. We certainly learned a lot. Emma? Kanoe's big plan? Kanoe said he taught cognitive science to Emma in order to create jails. Shutting down Emma should mean the jails will finally disappear. So our names are probably in the clear too, right? Well, that depends on Kanoe's confession, but I'm thinking it'll probably work out that way. <laughs> hmm? What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. It's just those things you said back there. It was nice to hear you talk about us that way. Agreed, though, in all honesty. I can't say I thought all of what Kanoe said was wrong. However, your w That's one of the big reasons why we started the Phantom Thieves in the first place. To give courage to people. 
Ah, that speech was top, Senkichi. Gotta give you props for that one. <laughs> Any more of this, and I'd say you were proud of me. Anyway, we've done what we set out to do. So, in the meantime... Hell yeah! Osaka Feast Round 2 coming at ya! Then let's get our butts in gear! I'm talking deep fried skewers, pork buns, okonomiyaki! Oh man, what else? We've done nothing but eat since we got to Osaka. Eh, you're young. Don't worry about it. Today's on me. Get whatever you want. Woohoo! Gramps got a heart of gold! Leave the search to me. I'll find us whatever you guys want. And our tour guide's coming in clutch. Sheesh, don't get too carried away, guys. We've got big changes on the horizon, you know? Osaka has a lot of top-tier sushi vendors, too. Sushi? What are we waiting for? Not so fast. Let us not forget the blowfish and crab hot pots. Hot pot again? Eh, whatever. Still down. Uh, hey, take it easy, you guys. 